welcome to the Chibi Chonics channel. It's Sarah from Sarah Stamp and Retreat here and I'm really excited to share a project with you today. So today we're going to create a fun rainbow card. I'm going to show you a way of creating a coloured light look when you've only got white lights. So we're going to be using the Chibi Chonics white lights and the Paper Rose Studio Wonky Heart Die. So I'm going to be making a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. Then I've got a five inch by three and three quarter inch piece of purple card stock. And then this white piece is, is an eighth of an inch smaller. And you can see I've cut the rainbow out of that. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put a little dot in the middle of each heart onto that purple card stock so that I can get an idea of where the hearts are so I can decide where my lights are going to go. So I'm going to put a light behind every other heart. So I've got my craft stencil and I'm going to just trace through. This is the gap for these normal size lights. You can see they've got a wide end and a pointy end. I'm going to add those there and then that's going to give me a guide as to where to put my tape. And I'm facing this heart down this way so that the point goes there so that this tape can go up over these points and round to this point and the other tape can go over all the flat pieces easily. So then I'm going to build up my circuit and my favourite way to do that is to use one of these switch kits. So you get the switches, the battery holders and the tape in there. So you get five of each of the switches and the battery holders. So I'm going to add my battery holder in the corner. I don't want it to be too close because I don't want it to show under the other layer of cardstock. I'm going to pop it here. So then I'm going to use my conductive fabric tape. You get 10 metres of this in a roll so it lasts for ages. And what I need to do, it's a bit like join the dots. You, you want to join the negative part of the switch with the negative parts of all of these lights and the positive with the positive and you don't want to cross the lines so it's actually really simple and on the leds it's marked so the negative is the pointy end and the positive is the flat end so let's start with the negative pointy end so i'm going to come out of the negative part of the switch and then i'm going to go down here, I'm wanting to join up the pointy ends of all these marks on here. So I'm just going to turn this around a little and then I'm going to go up over the pointy bits of these following that rainbow shape. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to join on the pointy bit of this bottom one as well. So then I can just cut off this part of my tape. So then I'm going to do all of the positive parts so I'm going to come up here over the top of the switch and then I need to make sure that it doesn't touch the negative part so what I'm going to do to make sure that happens is I'm going to go round the outside of here basically I'm just wanting to get to the positive side of the lights without touching the negative piece so then I can come into here and I can start going over the flat parts of those lights and then I can just trim off the excess so really like I say it's just like a dot to dot joining up all the pieces but just making sure that the two lines don't overlap so then I'm going to grab my little LED stickers and the thing I love about all this Chibitronics stuff is it's all self-adhesive so it's really easy to apply. So I'm just going to pull those off and I'm going to place them so that the little light bit goes over here where the dots are that I put on for my hearts. And we obviously want the pointy negative bit to overlap this side of the tape and the flat positive bit to overlap this side of the tape. So 
So then I'm going to grab one of my battery holders and again it's self adhesive. Then I can put my little coin battery into there and then we can test it. So I can see this one's not lighting up so I'm just going to move it about a little bit. I think it's not overlapping the negative side enough. So you can see that works perfectly now. And then if I place this over the top, you can see that that's lighting up those hearts. So then I want to make my rainbow look pretty. So apart from the hearts, I've got all of the pieces that I cut out of the rainbow. And I'm just going to colour them in some pretty pastel colours. So I'm just using my Altenew Artist alcohol markers to colour those. So then I'm going to use some of these sticky specks, which are just like tiny, tiny sticky dots, just to add to the back of this panel. And then I'm going to add a piece of vellum that I've cut very slightly smaller than the panel to the back. And the reason I like using the sticky specks is that it's a nice way of adding things to like vellum and acetate because it's a dry glue but then having it in the sticky specs means that you can get a nice covering all over the back without going through these holes. So now that I've got that on the back I've got a darker shade of each of the colours that I use to colour these and I'm going to colour over the back of the vellum over some of these hearts. And I've chosen a darker shade of each so that the colours show up better when we shine the lights through. So then you can see we've got that pretty pastel look to our hearts. So then I'm going to add these pieces to my sticky specks as well. And then it just makes them into like little stickers that we can just put over here. So I'm just going to put those back into my rainbow. So then I'm going to use this little Lawn Fawn Push Here stamp set. And I'm just going to heat emboss the Push Here on some yellow cardstock. So I've got the little Push Here words and then I'm going to pop the circle around it. And I'm just going to heat emboss that with white embossing powder. And there's a coordinating die set for that so I'm going to use this circle to cut that out. So then I'm also going to heat emboss my sentiment. So I'm heat embossing this onto a piece of purple cardstock that's the same purple as the piece that we built our circuit onto. And I'm going to heat emboss that in white as well. So then I'm going to glue the sentiment across the bottom of this panel. And then I'm going to glue the push here on in the corner. And then I'm going to grab some of this foam tape that comes in the switch kit and I'm just going to add it on. It doesn't matter if it goes over the wire but obviously you don't want it going over the lights. And then I'm going to pop this onto here. So then when you press that down all our lights come on and you get that really nice pastel glow even though we've only used white lights. So then I decided to go with this teal card blank to add a bit of extra colour. So I'm going to just glue the rainbow panel onto the card blank. So then there we've got our finished card so we can press it to light it up. And I think that looks really cute. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did I'd appreciate you clicking like below and you can also subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when there's new videos available. All of the products that I've used for today's card are listed in the description below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.